look at that. I've got Planeswalker Chandra. That's a, that's a pretty good pull. Hi guys, Martha Sending here. How are you all doing? Hope you're having a good evening. Um, today we are going to play some more Magic the Gathering. Um, so I, uh, I paid four ninety nine for um well it was four four dollars ninety nine um for these uh these gems. It also gave me five exclusive cards um and gave me a couple of packs. So I thought to start off this video we're gonna open them packs. So I've got seven to open. Let's start with the first pack. Oh, a goblin. You know how I feel about my goblin cards. Okay, and then we've got Griffin Sentinel. Undead Servant. When Undead Servant enters the battlefield, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token for each card name Undead Servant in your graveyard. Sounds like a cool card. That one's just uh, got lifelink. Frilled Sea Serpent, um, okay, can't be blocked this turn, that's quite expensive though, but it is good. Loyal Pegasus can't attack or block alone, yeah I've got that one. Choose target spell or permanent, that's red or green, its owner puts it on the top of the, or bottom of their library. Let's see what special card I've got. Brought back, choose up to two target permanent cards in your graveyard. That were put there from the battlefield this turn. Return them to the battlefield tapped. That's a pretty, pretty good card, actually. That's really good. So, you know. Yeah, I like that one. I really like that one. So, these packs are all from Corset 2020. As you can see, it says M20 on them. Ooh, another goblin. Goblin bird grabber gains flying until end of turn. Activate this ability only if you control a creature with flying. Reckless air strike. Choose one. Reckless air strike deals three damage to target creature with flying. Destroy target artifact. I've got that scorpion, I think. Soul Salvage, return up to two target creature cards from the graveyard to your hand. That's pretty good. Imperian Eagle, other creatures you control with flying gets a 1-1. One, one. And uh, Howling Giant, he has Reach, he's a 5-5 five, five as well. When Howling Giant enters the battlefield, create two 2-2 two, two Green Wolf creature tokens. That's a pretty good card. And Rotten Regasaur. At the beginning of your upkeep, discard a card. Well, that's because he's so powerful for only three. So far, some good cards. Next pack. Heart Piercing Bow. Whenever a quick creature attacks, Heart Piercing Bow deals one damage to the target creature, defending player controls. Okay, um, Borel Elemental, it's a flying type. Spells you um, your opponent casts, that target Borel Elemental costs two more to cast, that's pretty good. Manic, uh, Manical Rage, Enchanted Creature, Enchanted Creature gets 2-2 two, two and can't be blocked. That's a permanent, uh, I love enchantments, because that's permanent, that's a good card. Create two one one white soldier creature tokens. That's a good card. Got this one as well. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Oh, look at that! I've got Planeswalker Chandra. That's um, that's a pretty good pull. Elementals you control gets plus two plus zero until the end of the turn. Add two mana of fire. Chandra, a novice pyromancer, deals two damage to any target. 
And that's not the best of Plane Walker cards, but that's not bad. Apostle of Purifying Light. Protection from Black. Exile Target Card from a Graveyard. And the special card, Embodiment of Agonies. Flying and Death Touch, it's pretty good. It's a, new, it's a zero zero type card, but when it enters the battlefield, it enters with one plus one plus one counter on it for each different mana cost among non-land cards in your graveyard. Oh, okay. For example, two swamps and one, two, two are different mana costs. Oh, okay, that can be crazy strong. I, 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 that one I don't quite understand. I'm probably going to have to look into that one a little bit more. Right. Let's open another pack. We've already seen that one. Aerial Assault. Destroy target tapped creature. You gain one life for each creature you control with flying. That's pretty good. Okay, Vigilant. When Steadfast Sentry dies, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature you control. I think I've already got one of them. Unsummon, return target creature to its owner's hand. Wolfkin Bond. Enchant creature. When Wolfkin Bond enters the battlefield, create a 2-2 green wolf creature token. Enchanted creature gets plus 2, plus 2. That's pretty good. Instant. Draw a card if an opponent has a has cast a blue or black spell this turn. Spells you control can't be counted this turn. You and permanents you control gain hexproof from blue and from black until the end of the turn. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay. Let's see. So I've got an uncommon wild card. And I've got Luxton Life Enchanter. So, creature elephant cleric. When Luxton Life Enchanter enters the battlefield, you may have your life total become the total toughness of a creature you control. That's crazy. That is quite crazy. Cool. And then, it, then you can pay the cost again. That's uh, quite a crazy card, actually. Quite like that one. Let's have a look at this one. Sorcerer of the Fang. Sorcerer of the Fang deals two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. And that costs six. That's quite pricey. And you've got to tap it. Bone Splinters. As an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature and you just destroy a creature. Mime Rot. Target player discards two cards. Growth Cycle. Instant. Target creature gets plus three, plus three until the end of the turn. It gets an additional plus two, plus two until the end of the turn for each card named Growth Cycle in your graveyard. It's not a bad card. Keldon Raider. When Keldon Raider, as Keldon Raider enters the battlefield, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Not a bad little card, it's not great. Bloodfirst, Erlis. Flying. Whenever you gain life, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Bloodthirsty. And Diamond Knight, Creature Artifact. You look pretty cool. As Diamond Knight enters the battlefield, choose a colour. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen colour, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Diamond Knight. So... Diamond Knight can literally looks like can fit in any deck. That is pretty cool. Right, what is my special card? Lotus Field. Land. Hexproof. Lotus Field enters the battlefield tapped. When Lotus Field enters the battlefield, sacrifice two lands. If you tap it, you add three mana of any colour. That's a really good card. Let's open another pack. Right, we saw Mine Rot last time. Yoke Tox. Uh, it just looks like it's a defending type one. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. That's pretty cool. Frost Lynx. When Frost Lynx entered the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. 
that creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Aether Gust. Choose target spell or permanent, that's red or green. Its owner puts it on the top or bottom of their library. Okay. Oh, Dragon Mage, that's pretty cool. Flying. Whenever Dragon Mage deals combat damage to a player, each player discards their hand, then draws seven cards. Oh, that's a bit crazy. And what was this? Flood of Tears. Sorcery. Return all non-land permanents to their owner's hand. If you return four or more non-token permanents you control this way, you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. Not bad little card. Right, let's check this one. The last packet. So, we've seen that one. Um, as long as it's your turn, this one has flying. This new one. When Battalion Foot Soldier enters the battlefield, you may search your library for any number of cards named Battalion Foot Soldier. Reveal them, put them into your library, then shuffle your library. We've already seen that one. Pack Mastiff. Each creature you control named Pack Mastiff gets plus one, plus zero until the end of the turn. Um, Zombie Wizard. Whenever... Homebound Lynch enters the battlefield or deals combat damage to a player. Draw a card, then discard a card. And lastly, ooh, this one. What's this? When Mask of Immolation? Immole immolation? I don't know. Enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one red elemental creature token. Then attach Mask of Immolation to it. Equipped creature has sacrificed this creature. It deals 1 damage to any target equipped to that's a pretty cool guard that's pretty cool right let's see what the special card is brought back right we've already seen this one okay not bad not bad at all So, we've got a couple of good cards there that maybe I want to stick into one or two of my decks. Right then, so. We give Hot Gob a try and see if any of the changes we just made is going to make any uh, make any improvements. It's still a work in progress. So I do need to strip him down and go through some of the... Some of the cards, you know, some of the technicalities and to uh, try and make it run a bit smoother. I haven't got enough powerful goblin cards really for this deck to be hugely successful. Um, but yeah, that all looks pretty good at the moment, so we'll keep that. We won't mulligan that. Right. So we've got that just in case he throws something down that we might want to get rid of. This one's a good one too. I want to get that one down nice and early. Okay, pass on that. You gonna do anything? Nope, my turn. So what we do is if we play that one. Okay, cool. That might help me with artifacts because I keep having a lot of problems with artifacts. Get that one out. Good. 
and then we're attack. Vampire token. Stick that one down. Bring up that one. Obviously red, because my whole deck is red. Just attack that one. I don't know if he's going to block it. What does that kick highlight for? Oh, that's why. You're burning. I know this. Get rid of that one. Attack with them two. Bring out my dragon next, I reckon. So that transfer is up. Okay, haven't lost any life points yet. What's that do? Hmm. 
You can't block you. Can't block you. That's fine. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. It's down to eight, so. Oh, so okay. I won. I hate it when they quit early, but to be fair, if it looks like you're not going to win, there's no way back. You know, I, I quit early sometimes, just because. Right, so that was good. We tested out the uh, hot goblin deck, or hot gob, with a couple of my changes. We didn't see some of them. But, um, yeah, anyway guys, um, I think we're going to leave it there. This video was literally, I just wanted to uh, tell you about the, uh, uh, what's it called, the offer, the special offer that they have. So it gives you 2,500 gems, gives you, uh, I think, five packs of cards, um, and I think it gives you a couple of other bits and pieces. You have to check it out. It's on the uh, Magic the Gathering Arena store. So uh, check that out. Um, $4.99. Um, really cheap. I'm usually free to play. But if things are at £5. And I feel that you can get a couple decent bits from. I might chuck £5 or $5 on it. Um, anyway guys. As I said. This video was literally. I wanted to show you the packs I got. Show you the uh, the offer open the packs with you, see what we get, and uh, add one or two cards if uh, they would work into my deck and then play, you know, play a game just to test it out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, um, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Um, I do Magic the Gathering videos, um, as well as some reaction videos, some gaming videos. Um, I'm also going to be doing some uh, Pokemon trading card online videos, sh um, you know, coming up in the next sort of few weeks. Um, so please subscribe, um, like, leave any comments below. Let me know what you thought of this deck. Let me know what you're thinking of the new stuff that they're doing to Magic the Gathering. Um, there's a, I'll talk about it next time, but there's also new master, uh, mastery sets as well to collect. Um, it seems to get the best out of it. You kind of need to um, pay um, for the, uh, the mastery subscription. Um, and uh, it's, uh, I think it's about 3,500 gems. So if you do that offer, you only need another 1,000 gems to, uh, to then be able to afford that. Um, so guys, anyway, have a good evening, and take care. I will see you all soon, okay? Bye!